A number of articles have appeared in the mainstream media citing Boeing whistleblowers revealing how the plane maker's practices are not meeting expectations. However, in almost all cases, the whistleblower is not identified, so the story's integrity is hard to establish. Recently, another such report was carried by TV station Cairo 7, quoting an unidentified Boeing employee sharing his concerns over non-compliance issues at the Everett Manufacturing Facility. The exclusive report, which went public on February 9th, said it protected the employee's identity, quote, because he fears for his job and retribution. The male employee said it is painful to reach this point and it hurts because he knows Boeing could be significantly better. In the report, the man said he decided to contact Cairo 7 after what happened on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 on January 5th when the rear door plug blew out on a new Boeing 737 MAX 9, causing an uncontrolled aircraft decompression. Here's some of what he said about his experience working at Boeing. That's one thing. Another is being told by management to do something, and to my core, I could not do that. It had to be taken care of because I will not ship to or allow it to ship to our customer, in this case Renton, a faulty product. Being told to send a product, no matter what that product is, to a customer knowing that it is not right to ship it or send it to the customer in the matter that we are being told is wrong. You gotta send it right the first time. We can't. We can't like automobile manufacturers. There are quality issues there, but an airplane can't just pull off to the side of the road when something goes wrong. Disturbingly, the whistleblower said that policies and procedures being ignored in the name of efficiency and non-compliance is a regular thing at the plant. The report also carries an image of a sign that reads, Just ship it, which the man said is on a main aisle in the plant and that everybody who walks through that aisle sees that message. He adds, If by chance something is caught, it's caught by chance, not by design like those inserts, that was by chance it was caught and not by design. He claimed to have gone through multiple channels to voice his concerns and report the ongoing issues, but nothing has changed because all management wants to do is check their boxes, and they don't care about anything else. I'm just one person, very low on the totem pole, and if I can see it, management should be able to see it and correct it. They don't. I wish they would. Cairo 7 said it reached out to Boeing regarding these allegations and received the following statement. Boeing takes very seriously any allegation of improper work or unethical behavior. We continuously encourage employees to report concerns as our priority is to ensure the safety of our airplanes and the flying public. Since Cairo TV contacted us Wednesday afternoon with general information, We've been working to assess these claims and will take any necessary action to ensure our airplanes meet all requirements. Boeing employees can anonymously report concerns through our Speak Up portal or directly to the FAA at hotline.faa.gov. What do you think of this latest report on Boeing's workplace culture? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.